Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading for the 2nd of November 2022 for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. <clears throat> Remember this reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you as always. So let's see what we have for you for the day. And the reading can resonate a few days longer than when it's released. It's a nice picture we have, home. Okay, Virgo, let's pull some cards and see what we have for you. I am using the Druid Tarot deck for those of you who are interested. A little bit larger than usual, so I'm going to choose if they don't fall out easily because they're really large. <laughs> but I do like these cards. Okay, what do we have for Virgo, please? A message for our lovely Virgos for the day. A message for Virgo. We have the Five of Pentacles, Princess of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this feels like, I mean, we've got pentacles energy across this reading. We have the seven of pentacles here as well. So Virgo, let's start here. <clears throat> Five of pentacles can be a card of feeling lack, insufficiency, not enough money, not enough um not getting enough you know maybe even needing to ask for help or be supported in some way whether it's state whether it's family <clears throat> this is the energy here with the five of pentacles and i feel it's affecting your home your family your relationship this just feels like a change in terms of money because you know the seven of pentacles can be a message of Good things come to those who wait, but it can be a card of perseverance <clears throat> in the sense that this person has been persevering on a path and they're, you know, wondering if they've, if they're going to get the end result here. There's a feeling here of, of a little bit of frustration because things aren't happening as fast as you want them to. And you might have been pursuing opportunities. You may have been pursuing uh, avenues to change your circumstances, but things weren't materializing as fast as you wanted them to. And that's the energy that I'm getting here, Virgo. This feels like a loss of some kind, financial loss or changes in your contracts forced you to look at other opportunities or other avenues. Now that's either to replace your job, move from one job to another, or you know, move from lack of employment to employment. Or for those of you, it could be a second job, that kind of thing. Either way, we do have the Page of Wands or the Princess of Wands here. Good news. This is exciting news. This is really something that we're excited and enthusiastic and refreshed and uplifted by. Um, it's the Wands energy, which is almost like electric, you know. So this news can be linked to an opportunity. The Princess of Wands can be linked to a new beginning. Very good in, in business, career, enterprise <clears throat> with... The Ten of Pentacles, long-term stability and security. This is also a card of goal achievement and material success here, Virgo, in the sense that this is a complete turnaround. We're going from a five to a ten. We're going from lack to being really fulfilled within this suit of pentacles. So this feels like a real turning point for you. Something coming in and it feels like you've been pursuing maybe a number of avenues here. And just wondering if you're going <clears> to <throat> get the end result. Well, it does feel that you're going to. This is, I feel, an energy here of, of doing what you need to do to protect your home, your family, your relationship here. The other message that just dropped in is... <laughs> maybe it's very specific for somebody. 
But again, it there f feels like there's lack or loss of some kind here in money, career, finances, and somebody has been persevering <clears throat> to change that. This could well be starting in your going back to a family business as well. You know, this home energy going back or <clears throat> coming back into the fold in terms of some kind of family business too. Either way, it's very beautiful reading, Virgo. It feels like a significant turnaround even, turning point. <clears throat> so my voice is just gone. I don't know why, but hey. <clears throat> Let's pull you an affirmation for the day. Message for Virgo. So your affirmation is, my mind is my best friend. Okay, and I'm going to pull you a final card. Final message for Virgo, please. Final message for Virgo for the day. <clears throat> final message for Virgo for the day, please. Yeah, abundance. Prepare yourself for incoming abundance. Release any mental blocks you may have. In fairyland and humanland, there is enough abundance for everyone. You know, it's really interesting that my mind is my best friend came out because I've got friendship. <laughs> it might well be in terms of, I don't know, it feels like you coming back to you, you finding the solution yourself for some of you, your own friendship with yourself here. But for others of you, a friend could have been instrumental in bringing this change or could have been supportive. <clears throat> so we have... Fairies and humans alike need friends. Now is the time to seek out those who will support and encourage you on your journey to fulfill your dreams. That's what I have for you, Virgo. I hope you enjoyed your reading, found it helpful, useful. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a lovely day. I will see you next time.